Well, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 8th of Feb 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store. You can download the app there or visit the uh, website www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of stats for today, let's just bring them up. You have the Asian markets, certainly higher overnight, okay? Even though the Nasdaq certainly looks top heavy at the moment, the Nikkei up 0.5%, the Shanghai up 0.4%, the two key important indices. Uh, in terms of European markets at the moment, you have the FTSE more or less flat to negative, the DAX up 0.2, CAC certainly bouncing from yesterday's drop, uh, FTSE mid, uh, generally European markets flat to potentially higher. Now, European markets certainly being helped with a lower euro today, euro back down to the 1.0650 zone, although uh, concerns remain. We have the S&P 500 now potentially topping out. So again, that doesn't bode well for European indices. If you look at the daily chart, you can see in the S&P, it's certainly topping out and you have a doji candle being formed on the weekly. In terms of European markets, the downside pressure really does come from the uh, the sell-off in oil, given the oil supply data yesterday, API numbers, certainly uh, in, uh, introducing a massive glut, okay, and certainly concerns uh, with regards to commodities, certainly uh, hurting the um, risk sentiment there especially the oil companies european markets are already weak regardless uh, given the fact that uh, we have concerns in france now apparently uh, le pen is, is is due to win the first round and then obviously we have the uncertainty regarding mr Fallon, uh, Ophelion, uh, and uh, general concerns anyway regardless given the uh, trump uh, potential travel ban uh, political uncertainty in the usa and europe as well to a large extent given the french elections also, we've got concerns with regards to trade wars and protectionism and etc. etc. So, certainly, there's a lot of uh, political or geopolitical ramifications in the background, uh, and certainly a risk aversion or risk off event, especially after yesterday's industrial production certainly came on the weaker side. In terms of the economic data today, industrial production from Spain certainly came in on the weaker side. Okay, uh, have we um, and also missed uh, Miss Forbes yesterday? Certainly hawkish that sent the uh, sterling above 1.25, although we are now back down below 1.25. And that certainly hurt the FTSE 100. Okay, now in terms of um, uh, the rest of the day, we have MPC member Cunliffe. It'll be interesting to see if he's hawkish or dovish. And again, uh, I expect a, expect a reaction in the FTSE 100, especially given the fact that oil prices are falling. If I bring up a chart of oil, folks, okay, chaps and chapettes, okay, you're looking at the oil price certainly coming into potential support now, uh, being flushed in the daily chart down to 51. Okay, so just bear that in mind in terms of the next potential move in the uh, in the price of oil. And also, obviously, sterling certainly hurting the FTSE 100 too. Okay, so there, there are the uh, potential um, scenarios at present uh, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, uh, commodities markets. Now, let's actually look at the uh, uh, indices now. Let's look at the actual technical picture. The DAX has a H&S formation, so we're certainly consolidating within the, the red candle, the bearish engulfing candle from the 6. So again, the longer we consolidate within that, the, the bearish scenario becomes. Now, the 60-minute chart does have an inverted head and shoulders, given, given the fact that we made a base at 11,500, so let's bear that in mind. And the 10-minute chart certainly seems to be holding that 11,540 support, so again, bear that in mind as well. Okay, now in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart has HNS formation with target 4710. Obviously, the French CAC is certainly the bearish out of all the indices, given the uncertainty regarding Europe, etc., etc., and certainly is a short candidate. Okay, so just bear that in mind. In terms of the, um, the smaller time frame, let's go to the 10 minute chart now. You are looking at resistance here at uh, 4790. 60 minute chart at the moment, you certainly have thrust higher. Given the fact that we've closed the gap at 4750 gap fill, and certainly a bounce was overdue. In terms of any potential move higher, really will be uh, short sighted given the fact that we have an unfilled gap at 4630. And we already know the uh, political, ramica political ramifications of uh, um, a Le Pen win, okay? The rise of populism, etc., the fear and uncertainty regarding that. Okay, and also given the fact that oil price is certainly lower overnight too. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring that up for you. We certainly seem to have uh, holding the uh, 7160 support. Let's see if we can test that. Let's see how far we can hold it. Again, double bottom support is inevitable at 7165 on the FTSE 100 for now. The daily chart on the FTSE 100, certainly a topping tail. 
as you can see here that certainly is your topping tail if you use your Fibonacci retracement tool to pivot high to low you can see that we held Fib 50% exactly and now we're looking to uh, potentially move lower okay so that's the scenario and situation that we find ourselves in at present okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and visit tradesignal.com goodbye